What about me what? <laughs> That's what everybody says. It's a, <laughs> dumb, it's a dumb question. This is the stupidest YouTube channel yet. What's your name? Nothing. Wait, you think I was talking to you? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah. I was talking to your mommy. My name is Allison. What do you do for a living? I am a doula. A doula? Yeah, and a student midwife, among other things. Yeah? So. Is this like a career path thing or just something you're doing to make money? Oh, no, it's a career path. It's not making me a whole lot of money yet. <laughs> ah, okay. So, like, what's the long-term plan? Eventually, I would be getting my own clients as a midwife to do home birth um, and while in my training or doing in my education of that I would have which I do some um, have some doula clients of my own um, until I can be the midwife what is a doula a doula is someone who attends a birth or if you're a postpartum doula you could be helping post baby um, but a birth doula is one that attends the birth and helps mom with whatever she needs um, or helps the partner or helps with siblings um, and just provides information, emotional support, physical support, um, and helps mom get through, get through labor and birth and postpartum. Did you have a doula when you had this beautiful little girl? Not really, no. Uh, I sort of had one, but they didn't make it. Um, because she was coming out pretty quick. Um, so, yeah. I didn't really have one, but my mom helped me, um, you know, brought some tea and stuff postpartum, so. What do, you, what do you mean your doula didn't make it? Isn't that like the main job of the doula? <laughs> well, considering I didn't give her very much notice, oh. um, it's understandable okay. that she didn't make it. It was quite, like, soon after the she was born that she made it there ah, so <laughs> okay. how did you know you wanted to be a doula um after i had this one i was i just couldn't stop thinking about how amazing the like transformation of birth was and i wanted to be a part of that for other women and help them understand and educate them that it doesn't have to be like a bad or painful or like traumatic experience um, and that it can be a beautiful experience which is what it's supposed to be um, which is not how our society treats it so I think a lot of people don't even know what a doula is that's true <laughs> it is becoming a lot more um, common to mainstream. hire a doula it's becoming yes a mainstream thing. yeah um, I think COVID also um, really like set fire more to the midwifery um, field because a lot of people were like, I'm not going to the hospital to have my baby because they were separating moms and babies if moms were um, testing positive for COVID, mm. uh, which is absolutely not what she should be doing. <laughs> Uh, it is more traumatic to mom and baby to separate them. So is, uh, is doula just like one of those hippie flower child things or is it really becoming mainstream enough where, where it's used more in traditional hospital births and stuff yeah i would say there's probably more doulas in the traditional setting of a hospital um than there are in the the hippie home birth yeah i would say most of the doulas that i know are not very hippie like but really? then again hippies changed over the years of how you would describe a hippie. <laughs> so how would you describe a hippie? <laughs> Originally, I would have described a hippie as like, you know, Jenny from, from, uh, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Thank Je you. Jenny. 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 Yes. Jenny was a hippie. That was my original understanding of what a hippie was. Um, you know, Jenny was your first hippie. Right, yeah, which is like anti-government, you know, anti all of the things that control people. Peace and love. Um, right. Um, I feel like today when you think, oh, they're they're like a hippie, it's 
you could be like anti-government and all that stuff, but it's more like, oh yes, they just like to go out in the garden and like, I don't know, be more, more, yeah, more like tree huggers, like environmentalists. And she said yes. <laughs> Woo! But I don't know. Even those categories are, they're all mixed together. They probably always were, but. So are you a modern day hippie? <laughs> Um, I think in a couple of areas of my life, maybe, but not, I wouldn't call myself a hippie. So you're hippie-ish? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hippish? Hippie-ish? Hippie-ish. Yeah. Uh, I am pretty anti-government, so. <laughs> have you had any, like, crazy doula experiences? There's been some challenging ones. Um, I had a really difficult one in February. Um, and it was a very big learning curve for me, um, as a doula to understand how I was supposed to support that mom, um, which is really what a doula is, is learning how to support each individual person. It's not like a, you know, nine to five job where you go in and you do the same thing every time. Uh, it's very different. Every single person is different. Um. As far as crazy stories, um, as a student midwife, I have more of those because I'm more involved with actually okay. like learning how to do all of the medical stuff. The key is, is the crazy story. That's what yeah. I'm fishing for. <laughs> uh, whether it was when you were doula-ing. Is that a verb? Is, do, can you, sure, is, yeah. is doula mm -hmm. a verb? Doula-ing, yes. You, like, that you is 100% a verb. Okay, cool. Yeah. So if, whether it was when you were a doula-ing or student midwifering, <laughs> I don't know if that one's a word. I don't know about that. Either way, craziest birth story. Um, the craziest one for me was probably our surprise breach. Um, we were at a home birth, and it was, I think, fourth. Fourth or fifth. And um, she was very quiet. And we were getting ready, like, okay, I think we're, you know, she's close to having this baby. And I was charting, my job at the time was to chart. And so I was charting um, the delivery. And the midwife was like, okay, feed her out. I was like, what? The feed her out? I'm like, okay, all right, we're having a breech baby. <laughs> yeah. um, and that was the first one for both of us as far as, like, she's probably been to a planned breech birth, but I had never been to one. Um, and we did actually have to help get that baby out. Um, so that was interesting. Um, you just grab the feet and kind of pull? No. <laughs> that's not what, I mean, that's what I would do. No, and, and <laughs> the, the common thing that can happen with a breech birth, which is generally not any more dangerous than a regular birth, um, than a head down birth, um, is their head can get stuck like this. And so you have to mm. get their head down like this um, to be able to come out. And so we had to help do that with pressure in different places. So that was interesting. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, so do you have like a, a doula business? It's a thing? Yeah. Do you have like a website and stuff? Yes, birthinglovedoula.com. <laughs> Birthing Love Doula. I'll put yeah. a link in okay. the uh, in the down in the in the description of the video. Cool. You know, I'll put a link down in the description. It'll be right down there. Maybe <laughs> I'll may, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a link up here too. Maybe I don't know if I'm smart enough to do that on YouTube. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I also I'm getting more into postpartum um, work as well. So that is newly available on the website. Cool. Uh, well, thank you so much. Uh, who's who's this? What's your name? Aaliyah. Can you take your hand out of your mouth and tell me your name? Aaliyah. Can you take your knee out of your <laughs> mouth and tell me your name? Aaliyah. How old are you, Aaliyah? Five. When's your birthday? June 1st. That's coming up pretty soon. You're going to be six pretty soon. What do you want for your birthday? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> tall order. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we can swing that. You had to swing that. Do you go to births with your mommy sometimes? No. 
Sometimes. Are you sure about that? Yes. <laughs> she was there at the first baby I caught birth. <laughs> Which one was it? Violet. Do you remember that? She said it was a big mess, which it was. I was covered in amniotic fluid, oh. so. <laughs> That's actually another probably crazy, craziest one, because fresh, fresh student, fresh baby. <laughs> fresh student. You were the fresh student? <laughs> yes. And the baby was the fresh baby. That's right. And you were covered in amniotic fluid? Yes. What, did the, did the bubble burst, or what? <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, I caught baby like this, so... What were you doing down there? Trying to get the baby out. There was a shoulder dystocia. Uh, <laughs> was the mom like standing up squatting? Standing up. Is that yeah. the proper way to give birth? There is no proper way. It's whatever works for mom. Ah. Uh, yeah. Because I've, I've heard like you're supposed to... We're done. Almost. <laughs> I've heard uh. when, for example, when pooping, you're supposed to get like a specific posture on the toilet. Like, and that's why they sell squatty potties. Right. Right. It's a is great it, position. <laughs> because it's supposed to help you get the stuff out. Yes. They, gravity is there, helps. Is there a similar thing for birthing? Sure. I mean, gravity definitely helps. Um, but one position doesn't always work. So sometimes you need to move around to get the baby to move around inside. Yeah. Um, so you may not end in the position that you started in. So. Gotcha. Well, thank you for talking to me. You mind if I put this on YouTube? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're finished. Now you know what to say. Oh, yeah. What is it about you? I don't know. <laughs> That's the best answer yet. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I thought you were going to put your Honestly, foot in your I mouth. have a good answer for it. Okay, what is it about you? There's what I think, and then there is what everyone that comes in contact with me perceives as what is special what about does? me. And that is what makes me special, is whatever the person in front of me thinks is special about me so oh, so you're throwing this back on me now sure <laughs> or anyone that knows me and has an opinion um you know like i think there's a, a very special thing about a friend of mine but they might not think that's what's special about them so it really is in the perception of the person in front of you well i think you're a very special person who has a lot of love to give and a lot of passion for what you do. Uh, I am cons consistently impressed with you and being a mom and following a, a desire, a passion, a, a career path, a thing you love to do and want to do, and you're making it happen. And if you are able to live a life doing what you want to do and not just what you have to do to survive, mm -hmm. you will be a happier person. And it's not always easy no, it's definitely not easy getting there. <laughs> but it's always worth it. Yes. <laughs> it is worth it. Right Every on. time. This could be our best video yet. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Dad.